Okay, this is the instructions for the PR Rotate pro, uh, assignment. So we're going to start uh, with some file management. We need to, get, need to get some videos from room 31 over to your, your PR Basics folder uh, in your documents. Uh, so we're going to go open up a finder window right here. And we want to go to documents. And then we want to scroll down alphabetical to your PR Basics folder here, OK? So you got that ready to go. And then um, you want to do a command N to get a new new finder window. And on this one, you got you want to go to room 31, stock videos, PR rotate, and you want to select by clicking and dragging or by holding down the command key and clicking on each one. Either way, this is easier. Just click and Click and select, right? Click and drag up to cover all three. And then click, hold, and drag those into your PR Basics folder. Okay. And it's going to do that. All right. So now we've got those three sideways videos in your PR Basics folder. All right. So we can close those windows out. And now we're going to open up Premiere Pro. Oops, shouldn't do that. We're going to open up the Premiere Pro 2022. Okay. And you've got uh, an existing project called PR Basics. So we're going to click on that. Open up your PR Basics project. Delete that. All right. It's going to open up. And so you should have your PR Basics 1 or PR Basics 2 here, depending on what the last thing you were using, uh, the last video you were working on. Uh, so we need to create a new timeline. So that means a new sequence. So we're going to go up here to File, New, Sequence. File, New, Sequence. I want to make sure that it is still selected with the ARRI 1080p30. And down here for the sequence name, we're going to call this PR Rotate and click OK. So now we have a new timeline. All right. Uh, and now we want to go and open File, sorry, Import. So File, Import. And we want to go to our Documents folder, to our PR Basics folder. And holding down the command key, again I said, hold down the command key and select the three videos that are sideways, okay? They'll appear as portrait, not landscape, right? So the three videos, there's these three videos here, and click import. All right, so we brought those in. They're all selected right now, so let's just click out here. And let's pick one of these, double click on it. And you want to scrub back and forth, kind of see what the content is, and then decide. So, maybe more support here. I can scrubber anywhere that you want to start your video clip, start your trim. So you can be here, you can be here, you can be here, wherever, right? Just decide somewhere where you want to start your trim, click the mark in, this guy here, click that. We're at 11 seconds. Okay, it's over a minute long, so let's just go three seconds, so or four seconds, so 11 plus four is 15, so I'm going to keep my eye on that, and I'm just going to move the scrubber until we're about 15 seconds, right about there, okay? And then I'm going to mark my out. All right, and I'm going to click, hold, and drag this in. Oops, let's try that again. From here somewhere, I'm going to click, hold, and drag that to video one. And I'm going to click, keep existing settings. All right, now let's do the second video. So there's another one here. So here it is. Double click on it. It's an ocean scene. Manually scrub, play ahead, back and forth to get a gist of the video. I think I want to get this part right here. Okay. So this video is 17 seconds long. 
So we don't want all that. I only want three or four seconds. So I'm going to click the play ahead right about, and right about here. I'm going to mark my in. I'm at 12 seconds plus four would be 16 seconds. So I'm going to go right about there. Okay. And I'm going to mark my out. And I'm going to click, hold, and drag this clip in. Uh, and the next thing I want to do is this video. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to scrub back and forth, get a gist of the video. Right, so I think I want it right about before the picture is ready to deliver, right about here. Mark my in. I'm at five seconds, plus four is nine. I'm going to go a little bit more. Go just a little bit more. So you can see the players run off the field. Mark my out. Drag this one in. Okay, and you can see I've scooted off the left edge, so I'm going to tuck it back over so I can see my three clips. They're pretty small. Uh, my video is over, not even barely 15 seconds, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so I can see these a little bit better. Okay, now they're all sideways. They're all sideways, and we want to fix that. So I'm going to put the playhead on the timeline somewhere over the top of the video, first video, and click on it. That way I can I select it by clicking on it and I can see it over here. I'm going to go up here to Effect Controls up here on the tab up here. You're going to, yours will be looking, it'll look like this. Twirl open with the greater than sign on motion. Go to rotate and I want to put in, I'm going to click. It's a scrubby key so if I want, I can do two ways. I can click, hold and drag to the left until I'm about 90, minus 90 or so, right? Right about here. But since I know I want minus 90, I can also just click in here and put minus 90 degrees because we're, we're rotating counterclockwise. So a negative for counterclockwise, right? We're going, we're rotating counterclockwise. All right, so that now gets the video. click on the next video clip and uh, it's all it still stays where I what what setup I had over here it's still there but now it's for this new clip so on this one I want this to be minus 90 so I can type that in or I can use the scrubby key all right and then and then I can scrub out here, click here, go to rotation, minus 90. And um, I just want to check so I can see everything. I, don't, I think I'm somewhat zoomed in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and I'm going to right click over this one. I put the playhead back over on this one and I'm going to go and I'm going to click set scale to frame size. It's going to make it a little smaller. I'm going to right click again and do that again. Actually, let's try this again. Let's go up here to scale. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to zoom in until I get the video clip to fit inside the frame, right about there. So my scaling is actually at 50%. So I'm gonna go here, now that I know it's 50% for scale, I'm gonna click on this guy, and I'm gonna go up here and do the same thing. I'm gonna take it to about 50%, okay? And do the same thing with this last one click here, zoom out, and zoom in until I get most of the clip. There we go. Do a Command S to save it. 
And now I can play my video to test it out. After I'm done playing, I'm going to export it. So I'm going to click to select the timeline. I'm going to go up here to File, Export Media. I'm going to make sure that this says H.264. If it says H.264, you'd have to change it. I'm going to click here on PR Rotate. And I'm going to put this in my Creative Cloud. And I'm going to click Save. And then I'm going to click Export. And when, I'm, when it's done exporting, I'm going to have a PR Rotate.mp4 in my Creative Cloud. Then I can upload or submit to the Schoology assignment and uh, put it on my Wix video page. All right, and that is the assignment. Good luck. And when you're when it finishes exporting, you can just go up and quit Premiere Pro. All right.